Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is to help you update the firmware on your FR Sky receivers using your Jumper T16. I recently upgraded mine to the version 2 firmware uh, because now we can use it with the multi-protocol module on our Jumper T16. So let's go and have a look at how to do this. The picture I just showed you is of the two leads I made up so that I could update my RSXR and my XM Plus receivers using my Jumper T16. Now you have to wire this in a specific way. So the next picture is going to show you how I wired them so that I could do the update. The first picture we're going to take a look at is the module bay of your Jumper T16. Now you have to be very careful here how you wire the plug. And you can see what I've shown you there. I've numbered each of the five pins from the top to the bottom, one to five. And the top two you do not use. The number three pin as you're coming down is the live or power. Number four is ground and five is your signal. Now this is very important that you wire your plugs up the correct way to match this wiring in the uh, bay of your Jump T16. My next picture shows you the two leads that I made up so that I could plug my receivers into the back of my Jumper T16. Now both plugs on the left are the plugs that go into the Jumper T16. You can see this because you've got live, then ground, then signal in that order on both those sides of the plugs. The other side you can see with the RXSR, that's the plug that comes with your receiver so that you can plug it into the receiver to update the firmware. And on the second one, the plug that I made up, you can see I've got a standard servo lead. And as I understand, that is the normal way a servo is wired up with the live in the middle. This is so that when you plug a servo and you can't get the live around the wrong way. And so you shouldn't blow anything up. You must be careful with the XM Plus one with the plug on because you could put these in, in the wrong way. So that's the plugs explained. Now let's take a look at the FR Sky XM Plus receiver. You probably already know the wiring on this because you would have wired it already into your quadcopter, but you can see I've numbered there one to three, and it's the signal, then the live, and then the ground. If you go back and take a look at the picture of the leads I made up, on the RXSR, you'll see it's the plug that goes into the receiver is actually in the same order, and that is signal, live, and then ground. Now let's take a look at actually flashing the firmware. Okay, okay, right, and hopefully you can see this. If we go to the back of my radio, you can see you can see that I've plugged in my plug. The bottom pin is signal, middle pin is ground, top pin is the live. And then I've plugged my receiver in this end. And the way I do it is that I have to add the bind button upwards and then it's signal, live and ground. Okay, let's go have a look. Hopefully I can show you everything working. Right, let's turn power on the radio. Welcome to OpenTX. Acro. Design motors. Mode one. Thermal mode off. Now I've already downloaded the firmware. I've shown you how to do this before to get firmware onto your radio. I've gone to the FreeSky website, I've downloaded the firmware that I want to flash to my receiver, and then I've put it on my SD card under the firmware folder. So now to, to actually update the firmware, we need to hit the system menu, and then page across, and then we're gonna scroll down to firmware, and then we push enter, and you can see all my all this firmware is for my internal module but then we go down and you can see there is the RxSR firmware and there is the XM Plus. I'm not going to use the this version I'm going to use that version. So you click once. Now this is important do not whatever you do flash it to your internal module because you're going to cause yourself problems. So we've scrolled down carefully to the external module. We click and there we go, it says it's resetting. I think you'll be able to see the LEDs flashing. And 
really there. Job done. Push enter. Let's come straight out. Now we can unplug the, the receiver from the radio. Let me grab the back here and pull this out. And the job's done. That's, that's how you need to do it. The important thing is the wiring to make sure that you wire everything up properly. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching it. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel and please share this with your friends. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.